I'm joined now by Joe Kurgis. He is the co-founder and one of the managing directors of Generator, a business accelerator group in Milwaukee, Madison, and Minneapolis now, correct. correct? Yeah. Well, let's talk about this 50th ranking for the state of Wisconsin first, third year in a row that we're bringing up the rear on entrepreneurship. And you said that Wisconsin just doesn't really have the venture capital out there, nor the idea of how to get venture capital started. And that's part of the reason. Yeah, part of what we do at Generator is we go around the country and we meet startups everywhere and tell them about the great work that can be done here in Madison. And so you get to meet these communities and really understand them better and the differences that you know, make them more or less competitive in the, in the marketplace. And to give an example that I found striking, in Seattle they have $600 million of venture capital under management, which means they're on the hook to create literally billions of dollars of wealth every five years. And so you see these jobs and this, you know, construction cranes related. Um, in Wisconsin, we have about 120 million of, of venture capital the whole management, state. and the whole state, not just one city. Yeah, and and you see that we're you know proportionally we're on the hook to create a lot less wealth. And what does that say about us and our desire to invest in our best and brightest and our our conviction in investing in building a, a better tomorrow for the state? You have a lot of deep institutional muscle in Milwaukee around one type of financing, but very little around another. By contrast, Madison's a venture capital town, and so it's very um, successful in terms of relative to its peer set and its size, its ability to create new wealth and jobs. Unre you know, un unsurprisingly, you're seeing Madison gaining population. You're seeing you know, new construction everywhere um, as the city picks up momentum faster. But you're also seeing it's, it's for other markets that much further away from the market leader in terms of um, where the capabilities that they might have and where they stand at the moment. I, I would think Madison, it's easier to have this because you have such a wealth of talent of employees base for one right. um, but you were saying to me that other cities just aren't really looking into this either that it that yes Madison is well positioned but Madison has taken advantage of that and there are other cities that could do more and they're not doing it well, we see in Madison and, and I want to make I want to I want to compliment the city for what I think is really remarkable about it is that the institutions here pride themselves on being forward-thinking you know they they have they feel responsibility to build a better institution for the, the community at large as well as for for the for the stakeholder that they represent and so you know we like I said we're proud to work with American Family Insurance Wisconsin Alumni Research Foundation and in, on all of their messaging you'll see that they pride themselves on being on the cutting edge of building a better tomorrow and I think that that type of attitude would serve others in the state well is there anything from a policy level that either the state can do or or some of the some of the you know cities that we've talked about the Kaufman rankings are what spurred a lot of this, this sure. recent dialogue um, you know, we're, we're at least, as we talked about, hundreds if not over a thousand new companies a year behind the pace. And so how do you, how do you even wrap your mind around that big of a challenge? And our, our opinion is that re the state has a set of laws regarding what, what's called non-compete. And what that does is for employees that are working at a company, it disables them from using their experience to go to a potential competitor after their employment contract has ended. Well, what that does in terms of startup founders is it locks those people with the best domain experience out of a market. They can't go and build a company to go and, you know, make their market better. And so it's inhibiting our ability to build new companies. And are these Wisconsin. even there in tech firms as well? You see yeah, a lot of these? Yeah, it's very popular. And anything from Jimmy John's to tech firms to any other number it, of industries. What strikes me interesting about that is this current uh, administration and the legislature is very anti-regulation. You would think that would be something they would be willing to take up. Yeah, it's the type of, um, and hopefully they will take it up. Um, I think it's because a private market enforced uh, regulation. You know, it's it's sure, enforced it's not in the a courts. government enforced regulation. It, it's right. enforced in the courts, though. So right. there, it is a government sanctioned regulation. Right. Um, and so um, our opinion is, you know, that. Uh, we want the free movement of labor, just like we want the free movement of capital, and that as a free market capitalist, anything that inhibits that is hurting our economy. And, and it goes beyond startup founders. If you're an employee at one of these companies, it's a bit like saying that the people who are most interested in bidding on your house can't do so. But trust us, it didn't affect the sales price. <laughs> right. uh, and what, you know, we, could, we can increase wage pressure, we can make you know, these companies better. There's a lot to be said for repealing these laws. And they're right. called non-compete. Yeah. You know, we want competition. I've got to cut you there. I appreciate your time. Very interesting. That's a pleasure. And, uh, well, hopefully we can improve. Uh, right. Kudos to Madison for doing so well. All right.